protesters once again take to the streets in Akron today, one day before the release of video footage of the deadly police shooting of a black motorist. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Lena Lime. Here is the latest that we know tonight in the Akron police shooting investigation. Tomorrow afternoon at one o'clock, Akron police and the mayor will hold a news conference and release the officer body cam video. We know the video shows police firing more than 90 shots at Jalen Walker last Monday. After the video is released, a community peace rally will take place in downtown Akron. Organizers calling for calm and justice during this demonstration. Our team coverage of this developing story continues now with Emma Henderson with more details about tomorrow's video release. But we begin with a Manny Abraham who has been following the demonstrations all day today in Akron. Manny, good evening. Good evening, Lena. Yeah, today there was a peaceful march here along South High Street in Akron that ended right here in front of the Akron Police Department. And as you can see behind me, uh, dozens have lingered on here today with the message we've heard all week long. They're demanding answers and justice in the shooting death of 25-year-old Jalen Walker. It was a mile-long march along South High Street. It started at Second Baptist Church with protesters walking together in a call for action. What we've seen today was there's power in numbers, there's power in unity. Pastor R. Stacy Jenkins and local faith leaders led a group of protesters to the Akron Police Department. The message was to peacefully come together and demand justice. Many don't even know Jalen, but they know I want to stand for something. And if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Jenkins says the number of shots fired in this case has left the community concerned over the actions of police. Our concern is, why didn't the tasers work? Our concern is, why so many shots? Our concern is, why every officer have to shoot? As the community waits for the public release of the body cam footage, protesters continue to take their message to the streets with the hope that answers and justice will follow. As we mentioned, uh, uh, Akron police will be holding a press conference tomorrow and they're going to be releasing more details along with that body cam footage and another rally is expected as well following that press conference. Uh, my colleague Emma Henderson has more. She's been following the investigation and she has the latest updates. Emma? Hi, Manny. Yes, so we've been getting little details that have been coming out throughout the week. Now, we know that more than 90 rounds were fired with 60 of them hitting Walker. Now, police say they were attempting to pull Walker over for a, quote, traffic infraction and equipment issue. We now know a separate jurisdiction attempted to pull him over 24 hours earlier because of a broken taillight. The chase with Akron police that ended with Walker's shooting death lasted four and a half minutes and went for about 60 miles, getting as fast as, sorry, six miles going as fast to 70 to 80 miles an hour. When they got close to the Bridgestone campus, he got out of his moving car and was running away from eight officers. That's when we've heard from the family attorneys and police. Walker turned his neck or torso to look back, and that's when the eight police officers shot Walker. Walker was unarmed. A gun was found in his car and two shell casings. His death is being investigated as a homicide. The eight officers are on paid administrative leave, and police sources say many of them had less than four years of experience on the job. Seven were white and one is black. Now, the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation is handling the case. This is significant because in the past, these types of cases were actually handled internally by Akron police. Now, this is the third shooting involving Akron police since December 23rd. So there are a lot of questions that are still coming out. And last night we did confirm that two officers actually attempted to fire tasers, but missed before those shots were fired. Lena. All right, Emma, we, we, we will keep following this and we will have more coming up tonight at 11. Thank you. And to give us more insight, we spoke to an expert today on police use of force on what exactly he would be looking for to justify lethal force in this case. I would have to see evidence of Mr. Walker discharging his firearm at the police from his vehicle. Uh, that's the first thing, because I think um, the officers will say 
their, their heightened and vigilant and perhaps aggressive response was predicated on that. He is also interested in if and how Jalen Walker turned toward police during that chase. Ture will also give his analysis and insight when that police video is released tomorrow right here on 3 News. And our 3 News Investigates team has been breaking the latest details and gathering exclusive interviews on the deadly police shooting. Our complete coverage of the investigation is on WKYC.com and the 3 News app.